Uh, let's continue talking about all this royal drama because it's actually sparked some real conversations about relationships. Like, for example, would your spouse do what Harry did for Meghan for you? Stepping away from family, a career, the limelight maybe? It's pretty interesting. Relationships are more than just changing your name and your status. So Dr. Carl is here with more this morning on uh, dealing with the, the baggage that comes in any relationship. <gasps> Yes. When you take somebody to be your wedded partner, mm -hmm. you think you're interested in that person because, oh, that person's hot. That person <laughs> and I have... Okay, stop laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or because that person and you get along and, and, and whatnot. But there's so much more. Yeah. Because that person is representative of his... I'm talking to women his tribe okay. and you have to understand the ups and downs and all the ongoings of that tribe and if you don't you're gonna have problems in your relationship now we're seeing what's going on here just with a move and that's very very interesting because when they started out it was agreed upon that they would be living <coughs> in the UK. Right. And now we're hearing from uh, Megan's mom, she couldn't sleep at night. The paparazzi was. Oh. Keep going. I thought that was uh, Prince Harry. No, your hair, your hair was touching the microphone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and, and, and she couldn't sleep at night and she couldn't do what she needed to mm -hmm. do. And then she said, we're out of here. Mm -hmm. Now we're also hearing that William, uh, not William, Harry, went through more devastation than we even gave him credit for when his mom died. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised, as a professional, I wouldn't be surprised if he suffers from some PTSD. Well, and you would think and seeing I, her suffer because, I, and I read an article comparing the headlines that you know, were so harsh with her, and it'd be basically the same topic, the same incident, and the glowing way that they spoke of Catherine versus the way they spoke of Megan. Um, once that all starts to take a toll, yes. I imagine seeing her upset by that would trigger some emotions about the way that his mother's life ended and the loss that he's experienced. Absolutely. So everything is a trigger to everything else. And when we get started, Started in a relationship we have to establish what the baggage is mm -hmm. but you have to be very careful and I'm talking to everybody out there we all have to be very very careful that the baggage isn't really steamer trunks mm -hmm. and then how are you going to lift those things yeah. so now this is becoming oh it, it, it's such a mess and the Queen is trying desperately she's in her 90s she wants the best for her grandchildren and she just wants everybody to get along like a, like a nice, well, and it's love, about change lovely too, grandma. Which, which we all go through uh, as we go through life, whether you of start here and you end up over here. And, right. You know, I mean, it's but just you know, something you have to deal with along when, the way. When people get married, they think, okay, we already live together, maybe, or we're already in a relationship, and it's pretty good, and we kind of know each other's families, blah, 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 blah. But we don't really consider that there is so much more mm -hmm. to understanding how to deal with our past. And if the past isn't dealt with before the people are married, then look, look what's happening. Yeah. And it's playing out in front of the world. Dr. Gilda Carl, thank you so much. We will give serious thought to uh, <gasps> I mean, the person and everybody else that comes with them. Right?